Hello, it's Ricardo, and so say we all. Yes, we're back with Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection, and this is the fifth mission in the 10 mission campaign I'm currently replaying on Admiral difficulty. Bit of a tough one, this. Took me about five attempts originally to get through it, and took me two attempts to get through on Admiral. So, like I say, so say we all. Launch those Vipers. Let's get some context in the mission and get on with the gameplay. Okay, send in from Crisis, get some of the voice acting in and see what it's all about. Better cottle to start off with. Just ask the commander. Speak of the devil. Sir, you probably need to hear this as well. We intercepted the packet at Aquaria, but it took us this long to open it. The encryption was thick. Here, take a listen. I cannot stand by and watch you pull apart his work. This station is heresy. Their kind may be inbred, slavering fools, but his divine intent is manifest in their form. They are key to our growth, not a virus to be burned away and... There's a set of coordinates in amongst the metadata, and it's not for the transmitter or receiver. It used to do that, right, Commander? Clothus would back-channel intel just like this to Daedalus. You're not standing on Daedalus, Lieutenant. I saw firsthand what that kind of hope does to people of a deep informant parting with some critical piece of intel? Nothing from that Cylon is to be trusted. No disagreement from me. At the same time, if this is an intentional leak, it's pretty clear Lachesis is brewing up something special for us. We'll send scouts in to recon the coordinates. If the threat looks viable, we'll move in to neutralize it. Let me state clearly, no one is to interact directly with the IL well-intentioned or not. So there you have it, a lot of things in context there. I'm going in there with two battle stars and Artemis and the Jupiter II, Minotaurs, Missile Gunboat, Adamant and an Atlas. And I've got them fitted out with Viper Mark IIs and Assault Raptor, another Raptor Squadron as well as you get with the Atlas and also Galactica's Raptor Squadron that was brought in with this particular update. Now, this time, I'm going to try and angle myself for those particular ships over onto the left-hand side of the screen and see if I can take those out first before getting mixed up and involved with the rest of them. Um, I may change this, I don't know, but I think that's probably the best way to take some things out. Prepare We're going to get a bit three, of voice acting two, again at the beginning one. of this mission, send in from Crisis, so let's wait and hear from our watch officer to give us some additional story and context. Jump complete. Cylons present in the operational zone. Marine Raptors are clear for launch. Coddle is attached to Fireteam Alpha. Check your radio for me again, Larson. Those hazmats can get in the way. Wilco, Galactica. Fireteams Alpha and Ophion are standing by and ready. Dr. Coddle even managed to get his suit right on the third try. Gods, doesn't it scare you running into danger all the time? Every day, Ares tests me. The day he finds me wanting, he will guide the bullet that takes me. Once you accept that death is inevitable, there's little left to fear. Uh, that's why it scares me. Take me by surprise. Make my heart stop when I'm not watching, all right? Knowing that it's coming and running toward it? Ugh, nope, not doing that. Anyway, uh, radio checks. You're cleared to fly. Good hunting, Marine. So there you have it, lots of talky, 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 talkiness. So I eventually went for a grouping, a very tight grouping, to attack the fleet, the Cylon fleet, on the left-hand side of the screen in the hope that I can send my Raptors over to the station. Um, they'll dock. I'm on it, Commander. That's great. Find out what they've got to find out, take Cottle with them, get the information, get out, get back to Galactica, and that will leave us hopefully enough ships within this battle group to take out the rest of the Cylon threat. All well and good. Let's launch those Vipers. So a quick zoom in there. You can see the Minotaur, the Atlas. We're turning. We're going to get right in range. I'm going to send the fighters off to do their own thing in regards to attacking a particular ship. Yes, I'm going to get hold of a Raptor group and send the Raptor group over to that station. They're going to board that. Once they're well on our way, we're going to get the Vipers and the remaining Raptors out to attack those ships. The big door knockers of that Artemis class Battlestar are straight in attacking that Cylon ship that's revealed itself. 
they've got raiders in the air. This is going to give me a good opportunity to take out this group of four ships before I then swing round the back of that research station and then hopefully take them out and I'll hopefully I'll stay well out of range. They won't launch any nukes and take that research station out. Okay, so we've got a few mach few Cylons that have revealed themselves. Going to give them the benefit of the fleet guns and then lash them with some miss missiles as well. Uh, to so use both batteries. Hopefully we can take those ships out as quickly as we possibly can. And also use our squadrons to start taking out some ships if we don't get them the first time round. Okay, so the squ fighter squadron is taking heavy fire. Missiles are incoming from that Revenant. There's a nemesis out there being a right pain trying to hack us. Lots of missiles going in there towards the Revenant. The Adamant's guns are also lashing. The other Cylon ship. And swing that Artemis around. This is a very difficult mission, I found. And this is only mission five. And I thought, oh my god, they're going to get much, much harder than this. I didn't find that. So the next couple of missions... I found quite easy in comparison to these all-out battle missions. If you haven't done so as well, if you like what you're seeing with the Battlestar Galactica Resurrection coverage, hit that like and subscribe and look at that notification icon. There's lots of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock videos in the back catalogue. Check them out. A little bit of talking going on here. Cottle rasping away. Apparently there's no respect for the dead. Cylons already doing experiments on humans. Back to the action. So we've got one Cylon ship down. Let's move the Minotaur, the Atlas, and the Janus class, the missile boat, into attack. Not only that Nemesis but also the remaining Cylon on that one side. I'm on it, Commander. So, gonna make a few navigational adjustments. Make sure we can bring all guns to bear and get that ship finished off. It can still be a right old nuisance. And when I mean a right old nuisance, it will be a right old nuisance. And it starts shooting missiles at us. And we can't really have that because, in all fairness, that's where it's going to start hitting us. Torpedoes already coming in from the ships that haven't yet revealed themselves. And the raiders have obviously identified us. Time to adjust our elevation. So we're on a better plane with that Cylon Cerebus. Bit of a pain. They hold a big old armament of missiles in there as well. I know there's going to be nuclear warheads. We're going to use our Assault Raptor and its special abilities not only to fire missiles at that ship and they can fire short-range missiles, but also to paint the target so all the ships that are attacking that target do get an attack bonus. Now, we need to take that ship out. We can get a target lock at that Cerebus. Ending the turn now. Missiles coming out. Hitting the adamant. More talky-talky from our senior sergeant. So someone's been hit. Cylons have hit them. They're taking care of business. The Arachne... We're going to start swinging the ships round, so the broadside guns are going to attack that. In the meantime, at the other side of the battle group, we're still focusing on that Cerebus. Got our fighter squadron in play as well. Time to start moving them out so they can start taking out raiders. There's a raptor group already on the station. Let's recall the other Raptors, get them rearmed, then get them back out into the fight. Let's hit that with a salvo from the Janus. 
Uh, the Cylons haven't revealed themselves. We're going to have to get round, super sneaky-like, round that station and attack them through the nebula. That Arachne's out. Time to swing those sh capital ships around. The Adamant. Marines have taken care of business, got rid of the Cylons on, on the station. Time to get the data and get out. Okay, so voice acting over and done with. Swing those battle stars out and towards the enemy threat. Move the adamant round as well. The arachne's over and done with. You've had the bit of voice voice acting. Still got our planes in the air. We haven't taken too many losses. We've landed a viper, uh, a raptor squadron as well. They're rearming. Time to carry on the attack. And we're waiting for the Marines on that Cylon station where they're experimenting on humans, making them hybrids, whatever they're doing to them. And for Cottle to get all that data. One of the Marines has already taken a hit. Cerebus is down. Everyone's complaining about a weird sound, some sort of signal. Okay. So that's the plan. Everybody get out and then blow the station up. I think the Cylons are going to do a pretty good job of that. They've revealed themselves. We've got our Raptors around there. They know what's going on. Let's swing around and start taking out the stragglers. Okay, recalling our Raptor squadron. Get them rearmed. Let's recall that Raptor Squadron off the station. They'll head all the way back towards Galactica and land. And then once they've landed, yes, sir. time to start taking care of business. So let's swing those ships. You've got Thruster Boost on as well. The Atlas, even though it hasn't got missiles, has got pretty good guns, can take an awful lot of hammering. We've just got our Raptor team out just in time. Time to engage the remaining Cylon threat. Yes, Commander. And when I say Cylon threat, well, as long as you don't lose Galactica, we'll get through this. We are going to lose some ships, though. It's a given. It's a given we're going to lose some ships. They've still taken a bit of a pounding from the initial engagement. We've got to make sure fire control is all being fixed on that Atlas. It's taken a right old pounding. The Yanus is also taking damage. Of course, there's a Nebula there as well. That's going to interfere with missiles. More missiles are coming in. Again, hitting that Atlas on the right side. So we're going to try and manoeuvre our Minotaur around so the Minotaur can start taking or making the use of its heavy guns against that Cylon. Atlas still taking damage from those hits. Here comes a nuclear warhead by the look of it. Quite lucky that it's being fired now as opposed to being fired earlier on where our Raptor team was still on that station. That would have been it. Game over. We're going to take that ship out 
with a barrage from the Yanis missile boat. Yes, sir. Bit of manoeuvring now. Get some of the guns in range. Then perhaps we'll get some more Raptors in the air once they've once they've rearmed. Typically what I found as well playing on Admiral that the AI will target the Jupiter 2 Battlestar. It will target the Galactica. Atlas taking a huge hit. Um, in fact, yep, the Atlas is now down after having that missile strike. The missile strike took it right out, went right through the armour and that was the end of that. Okay. Guns starting to fire. Minotaur's taking damage. We're closing on the Cylon threat though. Time to move some of the ships that are taking a bit of a pounding out the way so we can rescue them but still use their missiles. I'm talking about the Yanus now. Or the Yanus. I'm going to move them, present the rear where there's still quite a bit of armour towards the enemy. We can still use the missiles. Let's get Galactica in the way. Virtually untouched at the moment. Still more torpedoes hitting that Janus. 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 Whatever you want to call it. Got our flak screen out. We've recalled our ships. This is now not going to be a fighter battle. It's going to be a big guns battle. Bringing out the long nines. And hitting the other ship. Got it. So we're going to fire some missiles from the Artemis. Again, others are reloading. Let's take that Revenant right out. They're a right pain, they are, those ships. But all Cylon ships are a pain. They're all dangerous. You have a pack of Nemesis-class ships... They're dangerous because the barrage of missiles they can unleash is a capital ship killer. So also the Minotaur is taking a bit of a pounding as well. We're going to move that out of the way and around with the with the the Janus class missile boat and then send the two battle stars and the Adamant into battle at the remaining Cylon contacts. So far, so good. Yes, we've lost the Atlas. Yes, it was a big loss for us. But given the, the difficulty level of this game, of this particular mission, um, it's not so bad. So, that's that Revenant. He's been taken out. We can start focusing our attentions now on the other ships. Time to move so it around. Present some armour towards the enemy, so if any missiles do come in, they're going to hit the armour and not punch through into the hull. Yes, Commander. Ending turn now. Ship swinging around. Getting out of the way, as we mentioned. More torpedoes coming in, hitting the side of that Minotaur. It's still in play. So say we all. Just taking a right beating though. That Raptor's got to get itself back to Galactica. Yes, sir. Now time for an old-fashioned fist fight with the rest of the Cylon ships. Again, Hostile more missiles glancing along the side of that Ianus missile boat. Completely missing. Got to be careful of any mines that are being launched. Getting more Vipers in the air as well now for additional cover and additional fire support.
And there it is, it started to reveal itself straight away. Argos class. A Cylon Argos class base star. Yes, sir. Well, that's what it is. And one of the newer ships that's been released, a Gorgon, came out, I think, with Sin and Sacrifice. Capable of short jumps as well, that ship. We're not going to give it the option. We're going to close. We're going to give it a salvo from the Yanus. Still in play, although heavily damaged. Get some missile salvos in there. Take the wind out of its sails. Then let some of our bigger ships then attack the Argos class base star and take the Cylons out. Galacticus inbound. Optimizing fire solutions. Firing missiles. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. All good stuff. Good luck out. We've got a collision. Make sure we don't get a collision. Don't want to start look really stupid and lose all our ships. We're doing so well on this mission so far. So say we all. Use the guns of the adamant. Good little ships, those. Could benefit for a bit of an upgrade system as well, I think. Whereas you can spend additional points to upgrade certain ships with modifications. I think that would actually benefit this game quite a bit. Subsystem is back online. Still got our flak screen on the go. Missiles going in, hitting the Cylon Gorgon. It's not going to take too much of a pasting. It hasn't got damage. particularly big armor there. Start swinging our ships around so at least their long guns can start hitting it as it's on its way, doing a runner out of the combat zone. Missile salvos have already gone in. On it, Commander. Battle is nearly over. Time to swing the Artemis around. I'm on it, Commander. Put it in pursuit. I'm on it, Commander. Make sure we pick off any pesky Cylon Raiders that might be in the area. Any missiles, we can fire them off. Battle Star is taking damage. Nuke hit Galactica. Battle Star is taking damage. Galactica's armor absorbed it. Nuke hit it on the bottom mind. Still that Argos there to be taken care of. It looks in big trouble. Minor navigational adjustments now. Make sure we get some engineering happening now. After they've taken a massive hit. Adamant is taking damage. I've got red lights across the board. Battlestars launching missiles against the Cylon. Good old pasting. It's nearly gone. We're going to start yes, swinging man. them around so their guns can finish off that Cylon. Then we're left with whatever's going on with that Gorgon. Again, the Janus and the Minotaur are engaging. Janus is and our Viper, Viper squadrons and Raptor squadrons engaging. And that's it. Cylons down. What a tricky mission. All like I said, took me five attempts Coddle the first the time round. Not so hour. much this time then round. Intel can find out what the toasters were doing on that hell hole. They're going to now decode the code they found and let's watch the FMV sequence. I'm not going to rabbit all the way through this. Thanks for watching. So say we all launch them vipers and check back for more videos in the series.
They're breaking. Push the line. Actual set to pop up and prepare for extraction. Frackers. 